It's just hard because normally I wouldn't do that in, in Montreal when they're that skinny, so... But she's going to be critical for the next few days, definitely. dog you castrate or you spay, it's one less that will reproduce or it's less chances of aggressivity, of sexually transmitted diseases after that. So, you know, I think each little thing we do is like something good. People have been coming to the clinics, finding out from their neighbor and calling to see if we can fit them in for sterilizations. That alone has just, to me, opened my eyes about how behind the project they are. She's a five-year-old dog. Um, she's intact, so she has not been spayed, and she has a mass at her vulva, and it's looking a little infected and ooey. A lot of these kind of masses can be associated with hormones, um, but they can also be associated with transmissible diseases from male dogs mounting her. They had a sexually transmitted disease. It's a virus. Um, it's called a transmissible venereal tumor. Back home, we'll take a sample and look in the microscope. Um, but it's also it's pretty badly infected too. And uh, so she needs antibiotics. And uh, we want to decide whether we want to spay her or not. The thing is, a dog this skinny. You know, what's the likelihood of her really being able to carry a, a pregnancy? Like, she doesn't have any, like, really extra resources. Se puede hacer, pero ya se va a morir y el tumor se quedará ahí. We're waiting for the verdict. She wants to do it. Porque no está en celos más después. Okay. She understood that they could die and that it wasn't our fault if they did, and she was okay with that, but that it's still something that we don't want to happen. They, they want to take the risk, yes. Okay. Yes, they want okay. to take the risk. So if they want to take the risk, okay. I, think it's, I think it's a fair option. By spaying the dogs, it'll at least will make them less attractive to male dogs, and it won't be as painful for them to be mounted. It's just hard because normally I wouldn't do that in, in Montreal when they're that skinny, so um, I understand that, you know, she's going to probably feel better because the males won't bother her. Actually, in not bad condition. Yeah, she's um, teeny bit on the skinny side, but she's she's pretty good. Hola, feliz tarde. She's going to be critical for the next few days, definitely. It's going to be a challenge, but you know, I hope we can figure out a way for this to work. What he has is he has this big infection. If we cannot get him to eat, he's going to die. 